living farewell to this amazing villa. So I'm just making sure now that everything's locked. Oh, that's not locked. I think that's, there's the, okay, make sure that's all closed. Make sure that what comes in. That's done. One here, nothing to check. Oh, that's okay. Fine. Yep, the window's closed in the bathroom. No water's running. Oh, looks good. Now here, just gonna have to make sure this is locked. Yep, that's locked. So how's it gonna... Okay, that's locked. Let's see. Oh, looks good. One final thing, I'm gonna have to take this cleaning. My bicycle. And then one final thing. Take that up, leave that there. And now I'm just closing it, the door. That's it. That's Kalimnas. Soon as I push a bicycle with a trailer, so tired already. Final look of Myrtis and Masuri. Up we go. I just got into the bicycle shop and it's closed. I was actually looking forward to this because every time I stop in one of the big cities, I always get my bicycle checked. So this time, nothing. So I might have to do it in Athens. Right, just about to catch the ferry to Athens. It's now around 8 o'clock and it's going to be leaving at 9.30 in the evening. As you can see, very dark now. This thing is huge. Just arrived in Piraeus. Next up, Athens. Have to figure out how to get out of this place. A lot of uh, trucks and ferries. I don't think I'm allowed to like cross it. So I need to uh, park my bicycle here and then plan a little bit how to get out of this place. Ah, bicycles. The last time I came out of a ferry was back in 2022 in Santander. It was quite confusing getting out of the pier. Now this one has similarity. There's a lot of windy road before you get to the exit and then to the main road. We're literally outside of that port now. So we're just heading out to get some coffee. I don't know what their names yet, but I'll find out. I've never seen that. So why do we have so much of this? Now you put it together like this and then you put wood inside and you start to fire it up at some point.
I literally just woke up as you can see my hair my eyes and that's because I'm going to Acropolis today and the ticket that I bought would start from 8 in the morning so I gotta be there to collect my ticket like 20 minutes before it starts uh, just to make sure I get it there on time because it's so busy and so popular this particular site what they do is they put slots throughout the day so the one that I've got is from 8 to 10 so I've gotta be there and make the most of it so yeah I'm just walking to it now and what I'll do is first is grab something to eat and coffee so I've just got my fix from that shop over there I have the spinach and potato some apple pie underneath and espresso this is so funny so you have to purchase a ticket for this one whereby you can actually see the whole thing just by looking at them from the outside but I guess the value for money is the guide one of those things that you have to wear in your head so this is very unfortunate because I bought a ticket online and apparently it's not from an official website of the Acropolis so apparently I bought it out of a reseller called Headout so when I received the email from Headout it said there's a couple of options one is to either download the app or redeem the ticket in the, one of the ticket offices here in Acropolis and there's one over there which I just been to the ticket office said they don't recognize this reseller and so which is unfortunate because the option was said either redeem or download the app the reason why I didn't download the app is because a lot of the reviews said it's not worth it because the app isn't very functional I skipped that with the hope of getting the ticket here I just got in rejected for reference guys if you're watching this um, don't ever book anything from any reseller including this company called head out it's just not worth it not worth your money and time so I'm just gonna skip Acropolis yeah it's sad I'm sure a lot of people buy on this resellers websites it's weird it's odd you know Greece shouldn't be allowing this to be honest the reason why I bought online is so that I could skip the queue and I did queue twice one is the main queue where you have a ticket already and there's another one if you don't have a ticket already so I've tried both just to be sure and yeah and that is very unfortunate I think this is the closest that I can get to view the Acropolis it's beautiful from up here from down here I mean so what I'm gonna do is uh, try to complain and then maybe try to reschedule the ticket if I can maybe tomorrow or Thursday but I'm not really I'm hoping too much about it um, anyway so while I'm up here I'm just gonna go here in this viewing point it looks nice there's a lot of people already I think I'm ruining the view of some people that take pictures yeah <laughs> I'm just gonna go a little bit down because there's a lot of tourists there whereas here I mean right there it's a lot of tourists but right here it's pretty much nobody and I have a view of Athens.
I rarely stop for food, for a um, video, for good reason. I typically enjoy my food. I really like sitting down and then eat properly. But today is an exception. Um, I do this because I just want to point out that the food I'm eating right now is exceptional. Um, it's one of those street food, kind of like next to the road. Um, it's kind of hidden a little bit from the tourist area. So as you can see, uh, there's a lot of um, locals that comes in and actually eat them. And I really enjoy this kind of atmosphere. And I have to say, the food, the quality of the food is just amazing. Um, very traditional and also a little bit cheaper than touristy spots. Um, yeah, I, I like everything. So I had salads, some chickpeas with some cod and mashed potatoes and also some eggplants. Uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful meal. I really, really like it. The taste of it is so good. Mm. And the quality of service as well is very good, very spot on. So, you know, the moment you uh, sit, they'll give you the menu, obviously, and then you order and then someone will come in and deliver them very quick, very efficient and yeah, I like it, I like the service, I like the location I think it's one of those five star, no doubt um, in terms of review and what's good about this place is it's right next to my hostel